thing that we think of in baptism. It was an absolute defining moment, defining who and whose he was. And for us, it also defined who and whose we are. Can we allow God into our lives that completely that we can allow God to redefine us in new ways. Can you imagine that after the heavens are torn apart, this dive bombing, Holy Spirit dove comes down? It's not neat and tidy. The waters of the Jordan were muddy and messy. Here is John out in the wilderness. He was an itinerant preacher. He wasn't trained. He wasn't ordained. He wasn't um, part of the establishment in any way, shape, or form. He was really a renegade. Camel hair. Wild honey. Locusts. But there was a spiritual in the countryside and in Jerusalem that the people would dare to risk and go out to this renegade in the wilderness to be baptized for repentance of sin. Repent, turn around. And again, it's not neat and tidy because it requires you to allow God to change you. It's not about what baptism is doing. It's about what we invite God to do in our lives. We're so used to sanitizing baptism. There was nothing sanitizing about it. It is a Defining moment. So today, <coughs> I invite you to come to the font. Not to rebaptize you, but for you to have an opportunity to renew your baptism. Renew it in a way that. You can invite God to come into your life and transform you. There's nothing neat and tidy about that transformation. It is messy, but it is so worth it. It's the same way we come to this table. Because as God is imbued in this thing we do, we invite God to change us from within. And in so doing, God opens us to the possibility of God's dreams in our lives and in the lives of all around us. So today, come to the front. Renew your baptism if you wish. You can dip your hand in the water and put it in, on your face or just on your hands. I invite you to renew. We don't rebaptize in our church, but we do renew.
Show us the work that you will have us do. Grow us into your good news people. For in our renewal, we renew this, your church. We pray this in the name of Christ. For we know not only is he your son, with whom you are well pleased, we are your people with whom you continue to dwell. Amen. The grace of God, the peace of Christ be with you. Come as you wish, but you do not come. Someone 
Gifford brings this back, and they can bring anything they want, but if it's alive, I can't promise it'll be alive the next week. Ooh. Ooh how does this work? Be really, really gentle with Katie's knee, okay? Okay. 